Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some TCHO chocolate bars. Mine is, <laughs> mine is called uh, Choco Latte. And mine's Born Fruity. These were $5.49 each at World Market. We have tried some TCHO bars. Uh, we've tried, the, they, were, they were squares. They were about this big. They were like the size of, it seems like the Ghirardelli squares that you can oh, get in the yeah. package. And Sarah, I, I believe, I'm remembering <coughs> correctly, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but I'm thinking Sarah had sent them to us way back from California. Um, little bars that she found. That's the only time I remember trying the TCHO. So, uh, we're going to try the chocolate latte first. It is, uh, it says 47% cacao shell, 100% plant based. I'm going to go ahead and give this to you all right now. Oh! So they are all bars. No, these are long bars. Long okay. Ones, they're, well, they're, the ones that she sent us were like three half. In the pack. Okay, the ones she sent us, there was like like only one of these squares. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was like this big. Hmm. Um, so this one says, a chocolate, creamy, caramely, and energizing, a cup of joe you can't spill. Rich and bold coffee truffle filled oat milk chocolate. Organic, non-GMO, plant-based. Um, one, three servings in the contain in the bar, and it's 130 calories. So this whole bar is 130 calories. There's three bars in a package, right? The how you yeah. Read it? Oh, I don't know. Servings three, but one bar is 130 mm -hmm. calories. Yeah. So you think that whole bar yeah. is 130 calories? Okay. And there's three per package. That is a strong coffee. They are in Berkeley, California. I do like how creamy it is. Mm -hmm. It's soft. It's very, very smooth. Mm -hmm. It's soft and very creamy. Mm -hmm. The filling is not like a, mm -hmm. it doesn't have that truffly pudding like cream filling, mm -hmm. or like really, really like runny almost, but it is very smooth and soft. Mm -hmm. So my, only, my only, yeah, the my only problem is the chocolate, the coffee flavor is way too dark chocolate for me, or way too dark black coffee for me. Okay. Like you're eating coffee beans. That's so, how strong it is. I was going to say, this is in the milk chocolate. We're getting ready to try a dark chocolate one. Yeah, I wonder if it's the chocolate or the coffee. That's I think it's the coffee. Yeah, I it's think it's very dark. Yes, it is a black, it's a plain black coffee. Um, that, that's, I do have to say that. For all the excellent um, texture, mm -hmm. I mean, silky, That's smooth, creamy, love it. Fantastic, five out of five texture. Um, it does not have a lot of sweetness. No. There's sweetness in it, but not a lot. It, this is not your regular milk chocolate bar, and, and I do think it's because that coffee. <clears throat> and it's plant-based too, right? Yeah. yeah it's plant-based, so they haven't used, um, cream or anything like that to put in their chocolate to make it really good and creamy like a milk chocolate, a true milk chocolate is. Um, but it's very, very nice. It's very creamy for a plant-based chocolate. Oh, I it's like quite it. Impressive. I like it a lot. And, <clears throat> and honestly, if you were plant-based, you could, I, you would get used to eating that. Yeah, it's just the coffee for me is a little dark. The coffee's strong. So yeah. I'm hoping this one will be better. Even though it's in dark chocolate, I'm hoping the filling, the fruit filling will make it a little lighter. These are getting out of this one. Okay, it says, um, born fruity, uh, from Peru, the birthplace of cacao, deep fruit notes, sweet and crisp finish. Lush and fruity cacao truffle filled dark chocolate. 72% cacao shell. So mm -hmm. this was 47. Right, it doesn't look that I mean, 72%, 100% plant-based. It is 120 calories for the bar. Mm. That's a solid bar. The first one was filled, so it had like a, a really soft center. This one's a solid bar. I'm waiting for the fruit. You fruit. know, it doesn't have fruit in the ingredients, so I don't but know. But it says fruit, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Born fruity. Lush and fruity. 
Mm -hmm. This is the ingredients. Cacao beans, cane sugar, cocoa butter, coconut oil, and sunflower luncheon or whatever that word is. Um, there is no fruit in there and it does not taste fruity. Maybe they're saying the cacao taste is, is supposed to have a fruity flavor. It no, doesn't. No, no, it just tastes like chocolate. It yeah, does. deep fruit notes. I do not. I do not get fruit, fruit notes. At all. <laughs> no, I do not get fruit the at all. The notes are not playing properly. Yeah, somebody <laughs> said, that's supposed, that chocolate, oh, it says raspberry. No, it's no. Hold on, let me read this. <laughs> Call it a homecoming party because we're bringing chocolate back to its Amazonian <laughs> roots to celebrate the birthplace of cacao. Over the past 10 years, we've worked with Peruvian farmers to cultivate this elegant fruit forward flavor that thrives in this region with its tart raspberry notes. That is a lie. And stone fruit highlights. You'll know why this chocolate was born fruity. You know, I love raspberry. I love raspberry. I'm all about the raspberry. We'll eat the raspberry in any form. That has absolutely zero raspberry. No. I don't know who's trying. Af my, the aftertaste I'm getting is, it does have a little something that's different than just pure chocolate, but I, I mean, you'd have to really be searching for it. I mean, it's... It's a complete fabrication. Yeah. I, I mean, it's I, I like literally... These, I, we, we used to get coffee from a coffee company, and they said they were all these fancy flavors, and we were like, I don't get that at all. No, not really. <laughs> not no, really. No. Maybe they... Put it over top of it. Yeah. That's what it's kind of like. This they may have taken a raspberry near it, <laughs> but no, yeah. no. But it would be better if they'd actually put some raspberries in there. Then I yes. would probably like then, it. Then then you would have gotten it. But yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know who's trying that and being oh that tastes I, like raspberry. Well, unless no. you've got a really sensitive tongue to that particular flavor or something, you know, everybody's tongues are work differently. Um, everybody tastes things. My tongue like, works fine, and I don't taste. Yeah, yeah I don't taste it. Um, I don't mind this. Oh, I get it. It's, it's actually not as bitter as the first one. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it does no. It's, it, it, it is totally the coffee. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I do love, this was a little bit, it was still a nice bar. It was still mm -hmm. had a nice texture, but it wasn't the silky smooth texture of the chocolate. So, for that reason, I'm going to pick the chocolate. And I do like that black coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. I, I, I personally wouldn't pick either one of them, honestly, because they're just not flavors I would enjoy. But um, I don't think they're bad quality at all. That's not a, that's it's not really, speaking to the company. That's just no, speaking for my taste buds. Alone. It's really good quality, and I think it's great for five forty nine. You do get three individual bars, yeah. so and you could just pop one of those in your lunch bag and and have that. Yeah, we paid that much for one of these bars. Yes, before. absolutely, <laughs> uh, and it closes up really nice. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, I, I do think they're good. I do think they're good quality, and I probably yeah. would like other flavors. I just would like those. They have lots better. of other flavors, yeah. yes, for you to try. Uh, but I will have a picture for you at the end. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.